this is a whole lot different than what I remember. No! The captain! I got you, buddy. You're okay. I get you healed. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chot. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. You will never take this ship alive. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. He'll do it either way. We have a chance to fight. We've lost their signal. What now? They won't be able to stay close for long. We survived, but the captain, Captain Taggart knew what would happen, and he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might have called to the next one. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember. And avenge him. We will. Oh crap, I gotta take a seat. Okay. Take a seat. Sitting in the captain's chair. Oh. Okay. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage. But some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Uh oh. Shout out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape, too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. Oh, no wonder it sounded like that. 
I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to throw my ship into space junk. Which I bet all your his wears is space junk. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Mm. Uh, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from Caden. You better be ready to be safe away from me. Okay, so... Oh, this is weird. Okay. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible for just... Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Repair it. Beam up the, beam the stuff over there. Thanks. We'd help you if we could. But I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Uh, well, looks like we're on our own. I At least they that. said thank you. I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. And installing with spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. This is weird. Taking through scraps we left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. Pick it up. Oh, it's so horrible to go this slow. Hate going slow. But you can't go that fast yet. These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow clip with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. Uh, that's good? You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level 1 diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp 1. Zarva's dealing with the warp core, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh! Don't forget the cloaked Klingon battle cruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Let's do it. I haven't forgotten 
Yes, I can. Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Send the signal. I doubt we're going to do much damage, though. So. Some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. You. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Oh, I was if trying to do that before. Full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can't make your death swift. Okay, so I gotta hold it. Even full of pulse is slow. Oh god. Try. All I need is to get close and I can fire these high yield torpedoes. There we go. Full boost. This is a little weird because I'm used to being able to play click and actually distribute my shields properly. So my any shields are strengthened in one area. Yeah, I'm not gonna be close to a ship's explosion. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. That's this is great. Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? Do I require assistance? Yes, sir. A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. So, I take it you are in command now. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown out. But... Fine. Torpedo! Accepting danger is part of being a 
Starfleet officer. I try on the slush as well. You're right, it is. Go into deep space. Oop. Oh, this has changed so much. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Of course. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. It took you 15 seconds to say that. Ah, Captain Volon. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. Yeah, the like Renown was talking. escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't commanding a ship back then. Let's see how you perform before you start claiming that chair full time. <laughs> Understood. Ah, turning radius. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Huh. Kittimer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. My chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. Understood. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! Shit. I 
can't go into full impulse yet. No, I can't. is never good. Get him here. Uh oh. This is the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. Oh god. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. <laughs> the Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do so. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. Agreed. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. I trust my crew. I have linked the IOTA point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. This is so weird. But awesome him for the changes. Please transmit the data so we may begin our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Think. Borg transwarp signatures detected. Prepare your ship for combat. They're firing. I need help. Starfleet officers, you are prepared for this. 
Uh, is that what I think it is? Multiple Borg warp signatures detected. That's a trans warp to the gate. That's We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. Borg are departing. Most likely for a more strategic target. Direct your fire at the remaining sphere. Focus your fire, and we shall prevail. Focus your fire. Let's do this. Third to aim. Eat the torpedo up your ass. No, the torpedo went aim. up. Wait, wait, wait. Yay! Ow. That's a transwarp gate. That's not Here good. Here is the situation as we see it. The Borg are using the Pollock system as a staging area for a larger invasion. Long-range sensors are already detecting inbound transwarp signatures. The most likely target for a first strike is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg could take it by surprise, they would have large numbers of new drones at their disposal. Very observant of you. The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. We must remain here. Once you have warned the colony, return to Earth's space dock. What's that course for Vega? That's scary, right there. How do I get out of here? Go to Vega. Hey, is that Vega? I just be running into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna run into it. Uh, let's see. It's new here, so I have to uh, do it differently. It is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending oh, attack. We will do what we can to hold off the Borg here in Vega and repair the Kittimer. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper, buddy. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. Hey, I wrecked up! Yay! I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Let's depart the system. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Oh no. Shields up! Red alert! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna kick your ass. How many, 